So we're here at LSX uh, conf World Conference in London. Uh, I'm standing here with uh, Saime Seilmaker of Immunicum. Saime, uh, I hope you had a good day today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, arrived this morning in London and of course uh, the coming two days are going to be very busy as, as usual. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not going to talk about this conference as much because I know that Immunicum has been selected to do an oral presentation at ASCO in Florida on Thursday, the 6th of February, and you will present an updated data on the America study in kidney cancer. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So it's the ASCO City Clinical Immuno Oncology Symposium. Our actually one of our lead investigators is going to present the updated results. Uh, and also part of that was an abstract that was released on Monday night. Uh, but more importantly, we'll have the updated survival results. So six months later than the results we published in September and August, uh, we're going to now have available for a presentation to investigators that are at the symposium. But very important, at the same time, we'll do a press release that contains these results and the actual presentation and updated company presentation will be put on our website. So Thursday evening at around 7, we'll put all of this online for, for all of our shareholders to, to have a look at. And um, like you mentioned, the, the abstract uh, for the study was uh, published just uh, yesterday or on Monday. And um, today we've seen quite a reaction in the stock market. Uh, I think the share price was up way above 30% today. Um, so there are obviously some high expectations out there. And um, how would you grade the significance of the data that has been presented by Immunicum this far, uh, given the competitive landscape in this indication? Yeah, I mean, we've indicated before that this is a, a phase two study, a controlled study, which is, especially in the space of immunotherapy, is a significant accomplishment. Uh, but it is an exploratory study. So with this data, we can, we can start designing our next steps in clinical development to get to the market. The landscape is in, in immuno-oncology changing rapidly. Uh, this data, because it has been a controlled study, helps us to see what the benefit of elixir and cell is. Is it on response rate? Is it on long-term survival? And this allows us to, to design the next study with, with a, a higher chance of success. Um, and of course, we have been looking at the landscape, and that's why we've also started the Iliad combination study with checkpoint inhibitors, so that we are able to be combined with different classes, uh, kinase inhibitor, uh, inhibitors, but also checkpoint inhibitors, to move this program forward uh, the best way we can. And um, looking at the Iliad study, then, uh, what will be the next uh, upcoming milestones for that? Yeah, so in, in October we released uh, an update of the first cohort. That those were three patients uh, at the lower dose level where no safety concerns were observed. So that's always positive in a phase one. Uh, of course, since then we've moved to the 10 million cells dose cohort. So again, three patients that will be treated and we'll have to see what the safety results are. Uh, those three patients were probably going to have a safety update in Q2 of 2020. And after that cohort, we can open up the phase one and treat the remainder of the 21 patients. And of course, that will give us a much broader signal in terms of what the safety and efficacy might be in combination with checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, but first up uh, are then the, the updated results from the Mareka study that we're all looking forward to. And uh, when was the presentation to be held again? So it's going out on Thursday, uh, so September, uh, February 6th. At, at around 7 p.m. Uh, European time. And uh, is there any way for uh, the investors back home to follow that presentation, or do they have to wait for an update from the company? I think if you're a uh, specific member of the ESCO and CITSI communities, you're, you might be able to follow it online or afterwards. Uh, but we're going to make sure that we're going to put out the, the actual presentation that is given by the investigator. That's going to be on our company website. Uh, and then also an updated company presentation by us uh, at the same time. Um, probably on Friday there's going to be a few interviews to also let people know what our interpretation of the results are. Um, and that's as much transparency as we can give uh, at this stage. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Uh, so here in London you have just presented Immunicum to investors at the LSX uh, World Conference. Uh, what's next on your agenda here in London? 
Yeah, so busy, busy schedule as usual. The LSX conference is a very nice uh, mixture of, of pharma, investors, uh, other companies that we collaborate with. So it's going to be a lot of short discussions. Uh, and in that regard, in line with, with 2020, uh, we have a lot of exploring discussions to do uh, to really determine what is the future uh, for Immunicum and the next step for Elixir and Cell. Well, we're looking forward to follow that. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.